Hello and welcome back. Well, can you use buttons to just change the measure automatically in a graph instead of having to use an alternative measure, for example? Yes, you can. So I got a lot of questions about it. So I thought I'll just make a video. So you have on time here, cancel here. And as you see, when I change, when I click on on time, my measure changes to on time services. And that's my measure over here. I've created a master measure. And now when I click on cancel, you see that my master measure changes so it's two completely different measures and it's being switched out in just one little graph based on my selections here so how do you do that well first let's create a master measure we say v new measure always capital with the small v i say okay done and next i'm gonna add two two buttons I've created two master measures. One is canceled services, one is on time services. So these are master measures over here, which do the calculations and I'm gonna call them over here. So I go into the button, I say add action. The action I want is to give set a variable value. The variable is what I just created, new measure. And here I'm going to say, I want it to sub substitute on time services, right? And I click on OK. So whenever this is pressed, it changes to on time services. Let's just go here and rename it. For my second button, the action I want again is to set a variable value. The variable that I want it to change is we measure. And over here, I say cancel services. And I say apply again here to cancel. Good. And now I'm going to create my graph. So drag and drop a bar graph. Here I say year month. And over here, measure, I go in and I just say the measure is nothing but whatever value is in my variable. So V new measure, right? And I click on apply. There's no value now. And when I click on on time, now I have the measure for on time. And when I click on this, it's actually changed to cancel. And how do we actually check that this is what it is? I'm going to change this one to journey status and now you see that it is cancelled that's my measure and now when i click on on time it's on time so you can create two small buttons and then change your variables based on that super cool right now we do a lot of really really cool stuff with buttons variables all sort of things to build really cool looking websites check out the link below and check out the if you want all of this in a super simple way all right so this is how you use buttons to change measures automatically. Hope you liked it. Please leave a like. Super appreciate it. See you in the next one. Peace.